audiobook audiobooks hi you welcome everyone my name is hi you i hope you're all healthy and happy and just getting straight into the video here i want to be talking about well my favorite audiobooks available at the moment um i think it's available on scribbit and audible.com yes i do consider that audiobooks is a part of reading and i don't know i think you're ableist if you don't but okay more on that later <laughs> yeah let's get straight into it if you're just starting out and you don't know where to start with um audiobooks i hope this video will help you figure it out okay so book number one is anything by stephen fry that man has the best narrator voice second to none maybe like the bet the second best and number one will be of course like who's that god who's a god who's that god actor Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman. Yeah, he, number two. Why? Because he does voice acting. And if you're just, you know, walking, doing the dishes, wanting to hear a book, wanting to hear someone reading a book to you, you want to be fully immersed in that universe, that world. And just having someone to just narrate the whole voice of each character can help bring that to life. So yeah, anything by Stephen Fry, I would totally recommend um the harry potter series if you think you know the book if you think you know how it goes think again read the book especially book number four which is the harry potter and the goblet of fire i don't think the movie did the book justice and when i was re-listening to that book i realized that there's so much that the movie missed there's so a couple of characters that's like written out you're wanting to read a bit of kind of non-fiction maybe some greek mythology stephen fry did a great voiceover on the book on his own book actually um mythos don't be afraid if you don't know anything about greek mythology i didn't know either that's why you read the book and yeah i feel like i'm so well versed in anything greek mythology after reading that book and heroes which came after that so and if you like you need more greek myth in your life mythos definitely 10 out of 10 i love that book so much i wish i could read like, i wish i could like forget what i know about it and just like re-listen to it again next one if you're into non-fiction books or if you're not into non-fiction books i certainly cannot for live me pick up a non-fiction book it is so dry like they all read the same they have like the same outline and everything like it's it's not immersive you know it feels like someone telling you what to do and it's like someone telling you what to do with your life so that's why I can't pick up a physical copy of a nonfiction book. However, listening to a nonfiction book via audiobook is a whole different story. It feels like you're listening to a life coach while you're like you're cooking or something, and it's just like adds to the motivation. It's I would highly recommend Atomic Habits by James Clear. It is popular for a reason. It's very clear cut. Here, here's what you need to do. Here's what you get by the end of it. The best recipe for a nonfiction book. That's all you need. If you want something more. Out of nonfic, Try Grit by Angela Duckworth. It basically talks about her research on the importance of having resilience in your life. So heavily researched, great voice, great tone onto mystery and crime and thriller and a little bit of science fiction as well and a little bit of magic. I would recommend River of London series by Ben Aronovich narrated by, he, this is, he has like the best voice he has the best voice Kovna holdbrook smith just the right tone of voice for this series i can't i can't explain it you have to like sample it just the best series for a really weird and exciting chase around london so so basically this book just made me really want to go to london a bit about this book though it's harry potter mixed with sherlock mixed with a lot of london so if you guys love the city of london if you guys want a good chase crime thriller it's a little bit creepy um there is a couple of times where i'm like oh okay this is getting kind of scary like the book is kind of scary especially like someone like talking about it right in your ear it's a bit Ugh. there's like background music as well so it's highly reviewed for a reason everyone i'm onto the fourth book now and i literally i have a copy of you know the first two books of the physical copy of the first two books and i would recommend the audiobook more actually because the narrator is just so great he did he does voice acting as well just like stephen fry so point plus there if you guys want a good celebrity memoir i would recommend katherine ryan the audacity she has again really quirky stories about her life her life is very interesting and 
It's like she's talking about one of the worst times in her life with a very soothing voice. So it's a bit like, okay, I'm so glad you got through that. Uh, you went through that. I'm so glad you went through that. And you're able to reflect on that. Especially, I recommend her podcast where she takes um, people, her listeners' advice as well. And like people have some really, some really crazy advice to give her and she's like always real level-headed and also kind of crazy a bit at times i don't know i just love I, I love her humor i love her humor okay lastly one of my favorite audiobooks of all time is the midnight library by matt haig narrated by the lovely carrie mulligan she has just the best posh english accent that is both like very calming and able to put you to sleep, but at the same time, very gripping as well. I don't know how to explain it. Trigger warning, of course, for this book, it does uh, mention suicide and self-harm. And yeah, you kind of have to be in the right headspace to able to consume it. But if you are, it is just absolutely lovely. There are twists and turns everywhere. It's like, not, it's, just, it's not just like a one plot twist book. It's like five expect five or more and yes you're just really captivating you it's, i think it's a quick read as well so i think you're able to finish it in a day or two but and my heart broke like 50 times reading that book and i cried on the bus um which is nothing new um yeah but but i cried yes i cried expect crying and laughing and just rethinking your whole life as well it sounds dark but it's not really um okay i hope that <laughs> that did that justice so yeah that's it for my audiobook recommendations i hope you guys try this new form of reading um let me know what you think of my recommendations let me know if you tried them or if it's helpful don't forget to click like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video